Hi, I'm Lars Bergstrom with Curtis Stokes and Associates. And this is Dorcas Ann. Today I'm going to take you aboard and show you around. So, um, Dorcas Ann is a uh, 1979 to Fever 43, what they call a flush deck. So, the Fever's flush deck trawlers have the side decks and the aft deck on the same level. So you have a bit more freeboard, but you have lots of space for a large aft cabin and a large sun deck. Going aboard Dorcas Ann is made easy by gates on either side, both port and starboard. As soon as you come aboard, you come to a really large and nicely appointed sun deck, aft deck area. A nice wicker furniture conveys. There's also a gate that allows you to go down the stern to the swim platform and where the skiff is kept. From the sun deck we can go forward down the side decks to the bow. Side decks are fairly easy to navigate. Large fore deck area. Plenty of room to lounge and handle the uh, anchor. Comes with a 45-pound CQR. A really nice blondes old school windlass stainless steel grill there's storage for fenders you can see that one hatch here is to the v-berth and the other is for storage for uh, extra lines and deck equipment You see the entranceway into the salon from here on the side deck. There's one on port and starboard. And we're back on the sun deck. I'm here just a couple, uh, well, five freshly painted steps up to the flybridge. Flybridge is very spacious. You've got room for 12 people to sit up here comfortably. You can see the varnish work has all been just done. And they're going to be doing the varnish work on the exterior next. So by the time you get to see this vessel, she'll have all the bright work done. She'll be all detailed and ready to go. In the center of the flybridge is a large dock box, so to speak, which houses the propane tanks and has room for other storage as well. And there's storage underneath the uh, dash up there as well, underneath the console. The Bimini is uh, Sombrella Supreme. Really nice. I don't know if you've had a chance to uh, experience Umbrella Supreme. It's got a velvet-like uh, touch to the interior. Holds up extremely well. All the eyes and glass is in good shape. This enclosure is not that old. Companionway, the entrance from the sun deck to below decks, again beautifully varnished teak, all kept extremely well. We come down into a very spacious salon, which shares the galley. The galley is appointed with uh, top of the line appliances. GE Profile 
convection microwave oven, Whirlpool refrigerator freezer, KitchenAid dishwasher, didn't expect to see that, and a professional quality four burner cooktop. Bertazzoni. A nice deep uh, bin sink. And you've got views through two windows in the galley, which continue on because the galley is open to the salon. And so standing in the galley, I've got wonderful panoramic views. And I'm right here in the conversation if I'm entertaining guests in the salon. Lots of storage in the galley up top and under the counters. The salon table is a custom made table. Really nice. Leaves fold right up. Beautiful Sumbrella furniture fabric in excellent shape. Again, the door out to the side decks from uh, inside the salon. You know, two nice wicker chairs and ottoman, which can be pulled up the table to easily accommodate six for dinner. The lower helm has full controls and gauges. There's a, a little GPS plotter. There's a larger one up top. You've got your shore power controls, your generator controls, beautiful wood, wooden and stainless wheel. Here's your electrical monitoring and your shore power generator selector and a nice inclometer. Sailors will know what that is if you Taller folks don't. Really nicely done AC DC panel and the television, which conveniently pops up and out of the way. Entrance forward to the Quarters below. By way of a spiral staircase. That brings us to the V berth. Nice fabric. Separate air conditioner for the forward cabin. The door to the anchor locker. Bronze ports with no evidence of leaking around them. Nice brass reading lamps. Next to the rebirth is the guest head. Vacuum flush toilets, plenty of storage, beautiful wallpaper and tile, a nice big mirror. You could have a shower in here, but right now it's set up with, uh, with no shower. This whole area could be closed off for privacy. And then there's the door into the engine room. It's a massive walk-in engine room. Two Ford Lehman fuel sipping uh, engines. This vessel gets two and a half, three gallons an hour.
engine room has just been redone because they had to haul all this out in order to get the new fuel tanks in. One there to starboard. Another new fuel tank there to port. And the nine kilowatt generator. Up on top, you'll see one of the vacuum flush vacuum chambers. A decent fuel management system. All new wiring for the batteries and switches. There's the other vacuum flush unit. The sea chest, which you see on all these defevers. Reconditioned seacocks, nice six gallon stainless steel water heater, decent storage, and a fairly new uh, 2011, I think this was purchased. This is a full size uh, washer dryer unit by LG. This isn't the, uh, the normal Splendid 2000 you see in a lot of boats. closet behind the curtain here for your oil skins and fire extinguisher. There are fire extinguishers everywhere on this boat. I'm back to the AC panel. Up the stairs we've got a couple cupboards. Back in the uh, salon, on our way to the large master cabin. Down about four steps, we have walk around queen bed. Nice lamps, little TV. Opening ports all the way around. Lots of storage and drawers and uh, cupboards. A nice little um, desk or, or vanity area. Hanging lockers. Even the headliner is in great shape. And the master head. Also a vacuum flush. This has a separate shower. glass door. Parquet flooring underneath the carpets is still in good shape. They've uh, kept it pretty well covered. And to starboard is a dark but large cedar lined walk-in closet. And then it's just a, a couple steps to the salon. So this is Dorcas Ann. She's available now. You can give me a call anytime. I'd be glad to set you up a showing. Uh, please see the rest of the listing for uh, full details. And 
I'll see you next time.